What up, though? This is Big Snoop Dogg, and you're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. Now, you have fans out there that's requesting, that's begging, when can we get that 90s feel? And what they mean by that is, when can we get a real album out here? Yo, I be like, Nicky, yes, y'all. Doctor on call, I rock to my name and graffiti on the wall. Got flow like the rappers in Great George. Got, I got, my name Jamal, I pause. The 90s uh, era was more of, you have to have an album. You have to be lyrically to be on top. You had to have ground. You just can't come out the woodworks with a new single and be the man like you can now. The concepts that people talked about from the 90s to now, it was it was more of a, uh, you know, who I am and what I'm about back in the 90s. And this is what I believe in. Now is more of like, you know, I get this, I get this, I got that. And I think everybody can understand that it's cool. And and I'm not saying that the uh, that the new era of MCs are not doing hip hop because I can never say that they're young. I think they're doing a great job of keeping the money and the revenue going for hip hop. But I just think it's missing a tad bit of the concept in doing the album. That's it. A little more essence. A little more hip hop essence need to be involved. It's like you hear one song on the radio 80 times a day, and it's like you're going to buy that album for that one song. Remember back in the 90s or even like the late 80s when you had a tape and it wasn't about the single that was being played on the air. It was always about having that certain song that nobody heard and you like, yeah, you ain't got this or that. That little era has, I think, disappeared where you wanted to find something that was so gritty that wasn't on the radio whereas to now everything is on the radio that you want to be attached to or you have to be attached to with me and Meth in the studio it's like we got a little system I always been a studio bunny like I spend like 12 15 hours a day in the studio I learned to engineer as well I try to learn everything in the studio to operate if, if, it's, if it's any machine in the studio, I know how to operate it. And Meff respects me on that, and he know I got good judgment. So now I'm actually engineering our sessions, and I'm actually giving direction what we should do or feel, taking it to mastering, taking it uh, to get mixed and the whole nine. So it's really like a, a system we got. We can't really explain. He just trusts me for what I do, and I trust him for what he do. As far as like me and him, when we do it, we sit down and listen to the beat. Try to get a concept about it first. Try to get the hook first, so we don't we don't be just writing raps every, all over the place. Cause that's what we did in the '90s. We just rap. So now it's like we're grown now. We have to have concept, and we sit down, get the hook, get the concept, and it's on out the door. That's how we did the whole album. We actually did the album like a mixtape. So real easy, real fun. Well, Meth write his lyrics, I write my lyrics. Uh, life is inspiration to me. Uh, music is my first love. Traveling on a plane, I might be on a plane, I might catch a nice song from the playing music. You know when you're bored and they got the, you know, I can see clearly now. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm about to go somewhere and I'm hearing this. I might get on a pen and write some hot shit down. <laughs> 